Hey guys, and welcome back to the car review series. So today we're looking at this card, great another broken, hard to deal with card in freaking new next challengers. Great, because killer wasn't enough. We had to throw this guy in there too. So, oh, it's just looking pretty bad. So this card is called Worm the Genesis Dragon. It is a dark dragon fusion effect. Level nine, 2700 attack, 2000 defense. It is fused with two normal monsters. The effect reads, must be fusion summoned and cannot be summoned by other ways. This card cannot be destroyed by battle except with normal mo with a normal monster. Also, it is unaffected by other monster effects. You can only control one worm, the Genesis Dragon. Alright, so, competitive wise in good majority aspect of the game, once again, just like Killer, how the hell am I supposed to deal with this? It's a 27 beater that cannot be destroyed by battle except with normal monsters, and it's unaffected by other monster effects. How? It, it, it's, it's back row or bust. Back row or bust. I mean, it's not as bad as Killer, but it's still pretty bad. So if you don't got the back row at the time to deal with this, then you're in some deep shit, because he's just like, Psh, I don't care. I just don't care. You know, you you want, Psh, I'm, I'm summoning in attack mode. What are you going to do? One on one me? Ha! No. <laughs> And what are you going to do, summon some monster and run me over? <laughs> Unless it's a blue eyes, I doubt you'll be running me over too. Because it can't be shot by all except by normal monsters. Like, wh why that effect? You know, if you want to make it super powerful and be unaffected by other monster effects, then fine, sure, go ahead. It's supposed to be like the, the pinnacle of normal monsters. Sure, I guess. But can't be destroyed a battle with monsters except for normal. Right. So that means that if I summon effect monsters even stronger than it, I still can't kill it? Like, come on. Like really, that 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 part didn't need to it didn't need to be there, didn't. So great. So Dex, that if this thing has made no monsters great again since freaking Rescue Rabbit. Like here we go, and all you need to do is just one Dragon's Mirror because they decided to make it a dragon. So now Dragon's Mirror, just Dragon's Mirror, two normal monsters, bam, right into this. You, so many decks can run this. So many decks can run this. Alright, it's ridiculous. Heroes, Gem Knights, uh, anything with rabbits, so even Evil Swarm can run this shit. Um, what else? Uh, you know, Drag Blue Eyes Ruler, you know, Blue Eyes Ruler with uh, the Flame Bell Guards and the Blue Eyes White Dragons, which are both searchable and can both easily be sent to the graveyard. Really, you can just go. Oh, I opened up with Dragon Shrine and Dragon's Mirror. Alright, Dragon Shrine, send, send. Dragon's, <laughs> Dragon's Mirror, banish, summon. Like, look how easy that was. Look at what this. I got 27 beater that you can't kill by battle, and I'm unaffected by your monster effects. Like, why does Konami keep doing cards like this? Like, killer wasn't enough, we had to discard this guy too. And, if they wanted to, and and I doubt they will ever, but, you know, uh, Kleeplot Klop can run this. They just have, would have to banish two other tools, or, you know. And, you know, tool everyone to the graveyard, and then, no, sure, why not? But, no, since it doesn't go to the graveyard, no. But, seriously, this, this is just another one of those cards that if it gets on the field, you, and you're not ready for it, you're not ready for it. Same thing with Killer. If you're not ready for it, you are not ready for it. So, you know, have your background ready. I mean, it's good that, you know, with this card coming out, and depending on when, you know, when this card comes because I believe they said that next challengers comes out. I think it was uh, next new challengers is uh, for us in the TCG. I believe it's November seventh. So depending on the ban list of October, you know, if the battle traps are still at three, like Mirror Force and D Prison, you know, that would work. Uh, you know, Fiendish Chain, you know, that would work as well. Uh, you know, break through skill during your turn and then kill it. That would work. Well, like I said, it's just back or a bus. So. It, and you know the sad thing is that one of the decks that can easily pump this out, you know, Dragon Rulers or some variant of that, Mystic Rulers or you know, Blue Eyes Ruler, they could just run Royal Decree. So Royal Decree plus this. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you got Dark Hole. I hope you got Dark Hole, because who that this is just like that. Oh, that extra can't be destroyed by battle except with normal monsters. But you're 27 beater. Like who's gonna be destroying you by battle anyway? But still. Even if I do get to summon something stronger than you, you know, just, uh, wow, you know, just laughing, you know, at least Quillops, you know, 
the Klepa killer, you know, even even Bujins were like, haha, uh, if you come at me or I come at you, ha, huh, drop the I drop the crane, ha, huh, you're done. This not even Bujins can take it out. Just just anything that runs normal monsters that doesn't run normal monsters. Anything any deck that runs effect monsters, which is what, ninety nine percent of of the decks in Yu Gi Oh can't take this thing out. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Now, oh, I can, oh, kill off killer, well, I can summon copycat, copy its attack, and then ram into it in Kamikaze and kill it. With Worm, you can't do that. You can go ahead and summon it and copy its attack, but then when you try Kamikaze, oh, can't be sure in battle with monsters except for normal monsters. Oh, no. You know, it's just like, really? Really? Just totally uncalled for with this card. And I'm starting to get to my wit's end. Really am. Like, I'm still going to be doing YouTube videos for you guys, and I'll probably still play for fun, but when it comes to being in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm probably not. I'd probably quit being in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh for this format. You know, we're looking at cards like this, which are easily splashed around in other decks, and then you got freaking uh, going up upon Tier 0 uh, freaking Cleepfoot monster, so, no, no thank you. <laughs> you know, and... That's the thing, you know, I've been talking with other people, and they're just like, well, just, you know, play the decks, you know, play the decks. You know, I was talking to Slate, and he was just like, well, just deal with it. It's hard. I can't, you know? And and then Stunt, he was like, oh, I'm totally going to play the deck, and I know everybody and their mother's going to play the deck. But that's not the way that I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! competitive-wise. I want to use what I want to use to beat what's the top shit and show that what I'm using is still good. And that is still Constellers, because I still feel like Constellers are still good, because Please is still a butt. But... When you release shit like this, and you release shit like Killer, it's just like, wow, I, I can't eat him. I can't eat him. You know? And and, and that's, it's, it's getting to that point. It sure seems like it. Like, it went less from Yu-Gi-Oh, the game where you have over 5,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and you can make a deck of any card that you, any card or deck that you want, and go ahead and play it, and, you know, and, you know, there being multiple top decks, so once again, we're going back to a Tier 0 format, you know? Back to an another Dragon Run format with freaking Kleepot, where, you know, it's either Kleepot or Bust, and Kleepot's so strong and so fast and just so outbeats every other deck that it's just gonna be up there, and it really does seem like it's gonna be that strong. And at least with Dragon Run format, at least, you know, you had, you could combat it to an extent, like Kleepot Killer, it's just like, wow, alright, you know, Dragon Run didn't have a card like that. Then had some super dragon roar that just said, when this card is summoned, it's unaffected by spells and traps and, and monster effects and, and, and you when you play it, you win the duel, and when the monster effect is activated, you bend your opponent over the freaking table and and go in raw. No. But fucking Kleepot Killer sure goddamn does. You know? And it's just freaking ridiculous how the game is just falling apart right before my eyes with this next new challenger. And it's just like, wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. I do not think I'm gonna be able to do it. So I guess I just gotta wait till whatever ban list after October is and hope and pray that, you know, Klee pots and get ki get hit. And this card, this card I I I hope I have back row. I hope I have back row to handle it, because if I don't screwed <laughs> That's pretty much everybody is back row or bust. Alright, so tell me what you guys think of this card. Uh, like I said, it's just, just getting really stressful. You know, I want to be I want to play in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to go to regionals. I want to go to YCS. I want to do well. But I just can't eat them. Not, not when the game is turning into like this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the card review. This wasn't the card that I was going to look at. But I just had to talk about it. Just had to. So... The card that I've been pushing back, this is twice now, because I was gonna I was gonna do it on Tuesday, didn't do it, gonna do it Thursday, didn't do it. Uh if any as long as anything doesn't come up or something so broken amazing that I have to talk about it, it should be the next card should be on Tuesday. So look forward to that. So thank you for uh watching this video, thank you for supporting me, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card review episode. Thanks for watching.